In the Doma East District, where the imposition of doctrines on pupils has dwindled the enrollment at the Wamfia Seventh Day Adventist School in the Bono region, Stanley Niblu has more in this report. The Seventh Day Adventist Basic School is one of the academic institutions providing formal education to pupils in Wamfia, the capital of the Doma East District. The school, being one of the mission learning institutions adopted by government, is located in a strategic area in the Wamfie Township and has trained teachers posted to teach them. Teaching and learning has improved, especially at the lower primary, due to the usage of the local dialect known as L1 in the teaching process. However, Enrollment, I am told, has dwindled because earlier authorities of the school imposed the doctrines of the Seventh-day Adventist Church on the pupils. The doctrine forbids females from wearing earrings to school. When they come, the teachers who were Adventists in the school used to ask them to remove their earrings and other doctrines that they don't compromise with the other churches. Uh, so I think this compared the parents to take their words away from here. Because we don't have a room, we sometimes take the underage people so that uh, we can bring them up and then we use them to finish the KG1 and 2. The school was then compelled to rescind its decision with female pupils now allowed to wear earrings to school. The head teacher, George Chumisi, is confident with the current crop of teachers posted to the school, things will change. The teachers have been cooperative for the attendance, they have been coming to school all the time and they are doing their best. As I said, for now there has been progress. The school is now struggling to increase its enrollment but it faces other challenges. Parts of buildings serving as classrooms have deteriorated endangering the lives of users. Already a portion has collapsed. Other classroom blocks have equally not been renovated. The SDA church has ceded two of its pews for use by KG pupils, however, they do not support writing. The district assembly provided a three-unit classroom block for the SDA junior high school after benefiting from the HIPIC program. The district chief executive Emmanuel Kofi Ajman said the assembly has plans to improve infrastructure in the district. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.